we've incorporated the elements, I would say, more of program evaluation and evaluating what we're doing from a budget perspective into our strategic plan. So our governing board definitely had an interest on how do we make sure we're optimizing the resources, the precious resources, whether those are people or money or time that we have as we move forward. And a lot of that conversation with our board started because we're a district that's landlocked and has some declining enrollment due to birth rates and housing demographics. And that's happened for the last couple of years. And so that started us making making some different decisions and having some different types of conversations than maybe our district had a decade or more ago when we were growing or when our enrollment was a little bit more stable. And so we've had a lot of conversations in our budget about how do we prioritize, how do we know where to prioritize, and how do we know where we're making investments? Because again, as you're growing, you might have opportunities to do more things, but when you're not growing, you really have to be more intentional about where you're spending money and maybe making better decisions about where you want to invest in the future. And so I think those conversations got us interested in trying to figure out how do we do that? You know, how do we have those conversations about programs and where we spend money? We started a few years ago to implement a zero-based budgeting approach here at Kyrene. And we did that primarily with a lot of our departments and um, more the organizational side of what we do here. But we didn't really do it with the programs. We kind of, as, as Simone kind of mentioned earlier, like once you launch a program, it's typically there. And we didn't really have a good way of assessing should we continue that or should we change that or should we modify that? We didn't really know how to do that. We had kind of tried to do some program evaluations over the years, but didn't, I think, have maybe a good or consistent methodology. And so when we heard a little bit more about the academic return on investment process here and this, these um, steps that you can look at those areas, we thought it aligned and it was a good chance for us to really kind of get started in that area. So. I think that's that's a couple things, but that's really how we started our journey here at Kyrene. Interestingly, as we went through our strategic plan process, right, we did an initiative inventory and we, you know, you just do that as part of the process. And we started to look at some um, programs that we had been implementing. And interestingly, all research based, I mean, MTSS, everything that comes along with MTSS, right, there's great research behind it. But what we found, and our consultant just asked this question while we were all sitting there, and you know, you've got a lot of teaching and learning experts in the room uh, at this point, and you all said some operational. But you know, she's like, "I've been doing this across the country. Everyone's doing MTSS. Everyone's doing, you know, the tiered and all this, but everyone's results are pretty stagnant and staying the same. So what is it? Because the research behind it is, it's really clear. It works." Why is it not working? And so then we started to wrap our head around, oh my gosh, how much are we actually investing when you look at MTSS as the big picture, but then even just start breaking it into components. And we said, you know, how do we justify if it's not changing results and the district's been doing this well before any of us walked in the door, how do we keep doing that? And why would we keep doing it if it's not getting the results? And so that really fed into the conversation Chris was talking about with us, uh, knowing our resources are shrinking. Um, and how do we do a better job of prioritizing? And and we knew we didn't want to eliminate it. So we knew doing away with MTSS was not the right answer or the components, but we didn't know, have the right information to actually say, this is what we're going to do differently, the, the so what, now what piece of it. 